Hi, I'm Helen Lewis, and I'm really looking forward to hosting and, and running the Waddle Holistic Management Decision Making Training um, in Northern New South Wales in August. And we just wanted to make this little video to outline a little bit more about the training and what's going to be involved. Uh, my background is uh, I've been a holistic management accredited professional for oh, now 17 years, uh, since 2003. And I have done a lot of extensive work with families and businesses and organisations in regards to holistic decision making. So I'm looking forward to hosting this and uh, helping people with their decision making. Uh, there's lots of things we want to do in farm businesses. I'm on a family farm. We've got three and a half thousand acres and we run Brangus animals. We usually do grass fed beef direct to market. And uh, there's a lot uh, there's a lot going on. And as you know, as farm businesses go, and we. I think you know we can get caught up in just the grazing, but ultimately to really understand what we need to know and where we can, what we need to know in order to take our business forward, uh, the decision making is really key. And I mean, if you Google holistic management, there's so much about the grazing, but there's actually a really best kept secret, and that is the decision making, which is part of holistic management. And that's what I'm really keen to pre present for this training, uh, and then we'll go on from there to actually ensure that each business that participates has the opportunity to ask and request for the certain information and skills, uh, edu other, other educators, other people to help, um, other professionals that can actually give you the additional information after you've gone through the decision making process um, to so that you're very clear on what it is you want and how what you want to create on your property as well as uh, where, where you want to like where, where you want to head and uh, and so that we can make sure that we're filling the gap really well uh, for your business to grow and progress and thrive. Uh, that's ultimately the, the, the long-term plan for this entire project that uh, the North Coast uh, LLS has put together and really looking forward to being involved with it. So I just wanted to go through with you the um, outline for the training and I guess the first of all will be our foundation blocks which is all about the environmental understanding and literacy and it's really important because you know there's one thing that if we are going to change the outcome we've got to change something in our um, decision making um, to actually get a different result. Um, Einstein said we can't solve the same problem with the same thinking that caused it. Um, and if we keep doing the same thing the same way and expect a different outcome, it's actually insanity. So let's try and change something. So by having a better understanding about how nature functions and actually the critical role of livestock in our landscape to cycle carbon, build soil carbon, um, particularly in our drier seasonal environments, um, is a really important tool to understand and how to use it so you get a better outcome, not uh, not a negative outcome on the landscape. Uh, and so those are the sorts of things we're going to cover in that workshop. And it'll be probably online on Zoom and or on Adobe, and we will have uh, we'll cover those foundation blocks. So it's going to cover uh, the holistic insights, how nature functions, the tools we use, and the best way to use those tools. So we'll pull out the tool manual and we'll review how we're using those tools and what we get when we use them in a certain way in a certain environment. Uh, many of you are going to be, some of you are going to be in seasonal environments, some of you are going to be in more humid environments. So you'll, you'll understand how to use the tools to your best advantage and to the landscape's best advantage um, through that process. Um, then we'll actually do some a pre-session uh, on, online um, and also have some information sent out to you in regards to your living context and the holistic context process. Um, we will be covering that as a face-to-face -face workshop, we hope, uh, depending on the COVID situation. We'll then identify the uh, your, your current reality. So it's really important because humans have a linear decision making. Well, we're linear in our mindset. Uh, we are very good at making things, but uh, and we get consistent results with making things. However, when we manage things like environment and people and uh, our economies or prosperity, 
um, the results are less consistent, um, and that's you know fairly evident in the world around us. So what we try and do, but because we are linear, we actually need to define what we are managing. So that's what we do with our current reality. We just put parameters around what we're managing so we can handle it and our linear brain is happy to progress onwards from there. Uh, and then what we do is we go through your values and your principles. We get that clear. Uh, and in that, we talk about your preferred future. So really, ultimately, you describing how your future has to be well into the, well into the future uh, for you to be consistent with your values and your and your principles. Uh, once we have that, that's your that's your context. So that's your holistic context or living context. And then what we want to do with that is then we have to actually understand what business systems, behaviours, and habits have to be put in place in order to make that reality. So for you for that to come up, you know, to become alive and actually functional as a as a re reference point, we need to understand those business systems and behaviours and habits. Uh, and so we then start the decision making process, which is a decision tool, which is a matrix uh, with, with good questions. The questions ultimately check your head, your heart, the future, the present, the root cause and people, environment and prosperity. And so ultimately check all those aspects uh, to ensure the decision is moving you towards your values and the future that you prefer. The uh, the holistic, we then move on and we, we'll use that decision making tool and we'll run ideas and options and businesses and enterprises. So it's up to you to, to then develop what you need to understand more about your business or what you want to start developing in your business. And then that's the decision making tool that we will cover. We will also touch on the holistic financial profit planning. So with holistic management, there's a profit planning process. And so the idea there is that you can uh, plan a profit first, uh, you make sure you're putting money to wealth generating expenses, you're covering your inescapables and then you're managing your um, main, maintaining expenses which is your normal living expenses. There's two key things that we like to cover off and ensure people know how to do and that is your gross profit analysis so it's just simply a, for each enterprise to ensure which enterprise is actually moving you or earning more, more capital, more money towards your, uh, your business. And also we like to ensure you understand the weak link process. Um, because if we put money on into the weak link and we build the weak link, we are actually building the business and it's a wealth generating expense. Uh, there'll be follow up um, after each session through a Q&A and session on Zoom or on Adobe and uh, we'll be talking over, over the internet on that. And also then the next steps will be all about you identifying what, what more information you require for your business to progress. Um, and that's where we can actually, you know, we can evaluate those, those decisions towards your context. We can make sure it's absolutely right. I mean, I've just put some examples down here such as uh, it might be financial, it might be succession planning, it could even be, it could be holistic grazing management. So we, we can bring in people who can help you with specific uh, information and, uh, and workshops to ensure that by the end of the next 12 months, and this is a 12 month program, uh, you actually are well on your way and your business is well on the way to, to adjusting and, and moving forward and becoming a little bit more resilient. So that's, that's a, Pretty well quick summary uh, and uh, we really are, fo are focusing for you guys to implement the change. Um, we, get, we do cover some change and, and what's involved with change and a few of those aspects so that you're aware of the change process. Uh, but we're really looking forward to having as many people involved as possible within you know, in the northern area of New South Wales and uh, I'm really excited about taking you guys through this journey so that you guys can, uh, you know, really start making some decisions that give, you know, with clarity, um, they, it gives you the confidence and a sense of calm. And that's one thing I really uh, remember clearly. When I finished my training with Bruce Ward in 1998 and I started making decisions holistically, you know, it was amazing. Like before that, there was these fluctuations and highs and lows and, oh, no, whoops, or, uh -huh. But once I started, I had a context to actually refer to and make decisions towards, 
I really just, my, my life just became more gentle ebbs and flows and it really made such a difference for me uh, and I, I really just um, recommend it to people to understand just by knowing who you, what you stand for and, and what you want um, gives you quite good clarity, it gives you absolute clarity and allows you to sift all the noise. I mean, we can go to workshops and we can go to field days and we come home with a, a you know, a sample bag full of good ideas, but which one do we do? Uh, and this is what the holistic decision making allows us to do. It allows us to sift all those out and really identify which one is best for us and our business right now. Um, and uh, that, that's, that's just relaxes the decision making fatigue that we sometimes feel <laughs> we're under, but also um, the confusion um, about are we really sure or the uncertainty oh is this really the right question right decision for me uh, and so the decision making process really alleviates those sorts of unknowns and uh, gives us really good clarity so looking forward to it can't wait to uh, start the program and uh, we'll kick off on the 6th of August so please join us and register through try booking thank you